So then, Ferran OS have just released their new 2018 snapshot and we're going to be having a look at that right now on Linux Lounge. <laughs> So then, first things first, this is the sort of new snapshot release of um, Ferran OS, and as per the usual, it's got all the, you know, Ferran OS goodies you could come to expect, you know, you've got Vault is your web browser, LibreOffice is your Office Suite, all that kind of thing, you've got all the programs to do whatever you would need to do. Um, for a sort of more in-depth look on that, I would point you in the direction of my original uh, review of Ferran OS. Um, but, like I say, in this video we'll just kind of be covering what's new. Now first things first, the least exciting stuff first. Pretty much everything that's been added to the new versions of Linux Mint and Ubuntu is here as well. You know, that includes your um, time shift, all that kind of thing, you know, backup solutions. And uh, also, the new software manager that which came with Linux Mint 18. Which is, you know, a good inclusion to see because I actually really like this software manager. Um, let's, well, let's, uh, for a start, like say, cover the new Ferran features effectively, the ones that are custom to Ferran. Um, now, first things first, loads of new backgrounds, as you can see. Um, you know, you've got these sort of flat stuff that, uh, that's pretty good. You've got um, this rather nice leather one here, and going down, you've got some sort of, well, landscape shots, nature photos, all kinds of things. Basically, it comes with a lot of backgrounds. Um, but now, that's kind of not why you'd install Ferran, though. The reason you wouldn't install Ferran is for the theming, which, yeah, I, as I say, it's pretty good. Now, Ferran has kind of overhauled the uh, Thema, so um, you don't quite get as much stuff as in the previous versions of Ferran. However, it's a lot lighter, which, uh, you know, good to see. In fact, this whole distribution weighs in under just under 2 gigabyte to download the whole lot, which is a bit larger than most distributions, but in my opinion, is absolutely worth it. Um, like I say, you know, you've got a few themes. You've got your Mac OS themes, which um, give you these sort of uh, blue buttons up here, as opposed to the colourful Mac ones, which I rather like the look of. Um, like I say, the icon theming stays relatively the same between all these themes, but like I say, I can see why they've done that. It's to cut down on the overall install size. Um, you know, you've got your Vista, XP, Windows 3.1, uh, that kind of thing. You can also mix and match your themes, which is you know, good to see for additional customization. However, this is where things start getting cool. You see there's an option here that says install a .thema file, which if you just put in your password, like so, it will bring up a uh, web page except that was the wrong button so it won't bring up a web page it's the get more themes that will bring up this web page uh, in Vivaldi which likes the default browser as you would expect um, and it's a github page filled to the brim full of dot theme files now basically what these are is the sort of small files couple of kilobytes you can download and run through this program here and it'll pull down all the themes and let you apply them now, I've already downloaded one at uh, Mac OS Dark, which uh, if we apply it, um, it will basically load this up, and sure enough, you've got yourself a sort of Mac looking dark theme, which yeah, is pretty good. You can see there's a few things um, broken over here, like the photos icon and that, but overall, it looks pretty damn nice, honestly. And, uh, you know, good to see that as opposed to bundling everything in, uh, this time Ferran has opted to allow you to download the additional themes, which, like I say, always good to see. However, I will say that this thing has been slightly buggy uh, for me personally. Like, I've tried to apply themes a few times, it just hasn't uh, done it properly. Icons have been broken, and sometimes I've had it just fail pulling down the theme, so... 
It needs a little bit of work, but once you've got it working, it does, in fact, kind of stay working. Another issue I've had is when I've switched back to the um, Feron default theme from some of the other themes, the panels from the previous theme will persist until I log out and log back in again. But as you can see this time around, it's not done it. So, it's a little bit buggy sometimes, but then again, the other times it's perfectly stable. But um, all in all, Feron OS is still a consistently great distribution. Uh, highly recommend it. Link will be in the description to download it, which, like I say, I recommend you give it a look. And um, I think that's it, uh, more or less, for this update of uh, Feron OS. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.